decency, so... And the game begins. I'm gonna lower that game volume, because that was really obnoxious. Try six this time. So looking at bands, the Kha'Zix band is no surprise as we have seen. Same thing for the Zareth and the Maokai. Now, I haven't really been able to see the blue team play yet. So Zed, Nami, and Syndra, I feel like is based on the champions that blue team has picked. Maybe the Syndra, actually, the Syndra map band might have been because they banned Zed. That might be the only champion that... They feels comfortable playing against the Syndra. Now that first pick Nautilus, that interesting pick fucking like first pick priority. Like you have all these champions you could pick and you go for Nautilus. Which means Bauchek Wow will be able to pick his jungle. Which, of course, he defaulted to the Jarvan. And Janna going for... Or, Saber going for the Janna. Now, he's not playing ja play Janna at all during this specific tournament. He is normally the AD carry of this team. So, we will see how that ends up going. The Corky Morgana pick. I'm feeling like Reaper's gonna go Graves again. Oh, and I call it Cigar and All. Philippe calling it right now. It's gonna be one sided. The Summoner spells from hell on Destiny Reaper and Twerking Bear. We all know what they're really gonna grab, but I mean, what more can you say? Nara's a really good pick against this blue team because of the Nod of this first pick, which means. They're, they're currently making it, so if you want two tanks, you're going to get my NAR fed, and that's going to be the end of the story. So, we'll, we'll see how that top lane goes, depending on who they pick. Oh, we got about 42 viewers. See if I can go let Foxy know. See how he feels about that. Provided I can figure out where the fuck he went. Alright, so... Top lane is going to be Nar against Yi. That's an interesting lane choice. I can understand the Yi because you pretty much remove Nar's Q slow, provided you know you have your ult up. But he's still going to be able to wait till that Yi has used his Alpha Strike. After he shows up, E away, and then get that triple stack, get that movement speed buff, where he's going to have a bigger movement speed buff than the Master Yi will. So it's going to be interesting, interesting lane top. I think that Nar has the advantage just because of his big form where he has that hard CC to be able to shut down that Master Yi. Oh wow, I ran. Meanwhile, mid lane is going to be Fizz versus Oriana. I have not seen Vaith on Fizz, but I'm becoming a huge fanboy of his mid lane. I tell you what. Meanwhile, Bauchika Wow Wow will be grabbing the Jarvan against the Nautilus jungle. 
Should be interesting with this Master Yi not grabbing Flash or Teleport. So Yi's going for that early kill before Nar really gets to the point where once he ults, you're CC'd for days. We'll see how that goes. Because if Master Yi is able to time his Q instead of initiating with his Q to dodge the CC from Nar, for example, his W or even his ult, I feel like it's going to be a bad day for Nar, but if he can't, Nar's going to be pretty fed. Especially if he goes an item like Sunfires or Randuins early. Randuins would be great against the Master Yi. But we will see. Meanwhile, bottom lane, you know, Reaper has played Graves, I believe, three to four games. You'd think they would have banned him by now. But, you know, they consider Kazakh, Zareth, and Maokai just that much bigger of a threat. Even though Reaper has shown that he is a force to be reckoned with while smoking. And talking about smoking, I think I'm going to light up another one. And I'm so lazy, instead of using a lighter, I just light it off a candle that's been burning this whole time. What's up? So this will be the semi-final match. After this game, the only match that will be shoutcasted is going to be the finals, which as of right now, will be single elimination. So I'm going to see if I could talk to Foxy about being doing a triple game, depending on like how late it is. Because if, if both games end in 20 minutes, you might as well. And the game is starting to load in. See, who will be winning the skin war? Looks like it will be... A Team Foreskin versus Team Foreskin. With the only odd man out with the borders will be Twerking Bear. Looks like he just wasn't able to make it to Diamond this last season. But let's hope he makes it to the next one. This game is really loud. Let's see if I can lower that. Oh, that's so much better. Alright, get this situated. Rift. Looks like both teams will be rushing the and pinging pretty hard trying to make sure neither team invades. Looks like blue team will be trying to go for an invade from bottom side.
30 seconds until minions spawn. Ooh. GG, Nar already damaging Master Yi. How this four man invade on this three man will go. They're probably gonna wait till about 150. There are no wards telling him, hey, we're coming to party, so. Minions has spawned. We'll see how this ends up going. And here comes the invade. They end up catching the Jarvan. Jarvan gets gets it. Oh, the flash first blood giving Oriana the early blue buff. This is going to be miserable for Fizz. How will he recover from this? Jarvan almost getting away, having to burn flash and still not working out for him. Looks like Nautilus trying to party. It's not gonna happen. Oh! And the red buff steal from Master Yi. That is going to be brutal. They really paid attention to the fact that Bao Chica Wow Wow is one of the jungles that you need to shut down early. Or you're not going to have a good time. You know, already Blue Team is showing their dominance with a 300 gold lead. Jarvan is still level 1, having not gotten a single. Well, he got his blue buff. But he didn't. He immediately lost it, and then lost his red buff to Yi. That top lane is going to be another lane that is just brutal. Because how will Nar get away until uh, until the level three? He just got boots, so we'll see. Looks like Oriana might get another kill. This going pretty bad. Fizz ending up able to take out Oriana, getting that early kill. While, yes, Oriana was able to get those two kills and assist. Fizz is just one of those champions that can snowball out of your mind. So, I mean, we'll see. Top lane's not going very pretty either with the, with the red buff steal. You know, they really played that well. Red caught Red Team on their ass. They were not expecting that. Though, after having not seen Master Yi at lane immediately, and knowing that the Nautilus was just bottom, really should have at least gone and checked on it. But it looks like Nar is not letting the Red Buff scare him. He's willing to duke it out in any way he feels necessary. Getting some great WQ combos. Looks like there will be a camp mid though. Like somebody get your s'mores ready for this fucking Nautilus because he is pitching a motherfucking tent. Oh, looks like my stream quality went down. That's weird. Oh, I know what it is. Oh, shit. Accidentally had BitTorrent running, guys. My apologies.
what is happening? You know, I pay fucking Verizon so much money, and now my internet's shitting on me? What is this? Looking bottom lane, though, Graves is not as having as easy of a time as he was before, and Fizz is starting to lose lane slowly but steadily after having gone back, be able to just get boots and a amplifying tome. Oh, looks like Janna getting a perfectly timed cue to stop the Nautilus engage for what would have been a deadly day for him. Blue team pinging the blue buff. Red team pinging it as well because they do not want to have to give it up to blue team again. Looks like both... Oh, Master Yi diving the fizz. Is this going to be good? Meanwhile, Nar is trying to shove and punish the Yi as hard as possible. Meanwhile, Master Yi is taking the red buff yet again. This will be at least one buff denied. The sheer amount of pressure that they have on, ma on the map right now is ridiculous. It looks like Master Yi will get this red buff uncontested yet again. Meanwhile, big fight breaks out. Uh, Fizz, is, Fizz does not have his ult up, so I mean... Poor Bao Chicka Wow Wow. It is a hard day to, to be him. That is for damn sure. You know, Twerking Bear trying to roam bottom to help his team. They were only able to get one buff secured. N losing a second red buff. Looks like Fizz may get away this time. Never mind, the flash Q auto, too much. Looks like Nautilus will go down to Bow Chicka Wow Wow. And Twerking Bear's like, that's not all that's gonna be falling. Oh! I am sure that Bow Chicka Wow Wow took so much pleasure in Demacian on the face of that Orianna. Looks like they may be. Oh, wow. Meanwhile, Master Yi top lane already got the first tower down. I didn't even notice that. Blue, bu Blue team now has a 2k gold lead. Nautilus trying to give the blue buff to uh, Oriana does not look like he, uh, it looks like she might be able to make it. We will see. She will. Jarvan is so behind right now, yet with, with the double buff steal. But at the same time, he had more CS. And two kills compared to Nautilus's one kill and three assists. But that, you know, that means Nautilus is doing his job because it doesn't matter if Nautilus gets fed. All right, thanks for letting me down, Dynamite. I, is it still, like, super pixelated? Let's see if this fixes it. I'm going to close absolutely everything other than TeamSpeak and the streams. Alright, so it should get better if you just give it a second. Meanwhile, bottom lane. Corky is now one kill and an, and an assist ahead of this Graves. You know, it is not looking good for, you know, a previously practically untouched team. You know, it looks like they're getting their shit stomped, to be honest with you. And I'm not, I don't, I don't really like that. I mean, I'm actually a pretty big fan of this team, having watched them play. The strategies that they usually employ. I don't know. Looks like it will be a dive mid lane. Meanwhile, Corky decides, or not Corky, excuse me, Jarvan decides to try and go in 
but Fizz misses his ult, so it, it was not meant to be. Oriana's ult, on the other hand, is up. So if Fizz stays, he's looking at dying because they are putting a lot of pressure on this mid lane. Looks like it will be a double kill. Oh. Man, it looks like looks like Master Yi just off the skin of his hair getting out because didn't didn't count take into account Master Yi's meditate. Like this is usually I, I have no words for how this game is going. I guess I'm just gonna have to put my personal favoritism to the side, cause I'm in. Looks like they're getting the shit brought to them, and just don't know how to respond. Cause I mean, I, there has it's been a while since I've seen a team actually put this type of hurt onto them. This Oriana is now five and two, while our Fizz is one and three, and having a Sheen now as well. You know, Graves playing with death right now. Three, 250 health. Jarvan and Fizz are coming down, but they are both seen. Pings are called out. Gonna have to get another pink ward because there goes their one in the tri bush. Looks like Nar is playing a little scared, being, you know, he's seen what this Yi can do, and he does not want to get him any more fed, because a fed Yi is a miserable time. But, I mean, team fight-wise, it's, it's anybody's game. Looks like Fizz realizing that he just doesn't do enough damage. But after some great dodges, just isn't going to be enough. The ult finally comes out. Nautilus gets a kill on Jarvan. Looks like this Master Yi is out for blood. Honestly, this 6k gold lead already? You know, Nart, Nart trying to protect the blue buff. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, though. Or red buff, excuse me. Master Yi getting the third red buff from red side this game. I mean, dude's practically a jungler at this point. Why is my stream so fucking laggy? Looks like they will be engaging bottom lane, trying to make a play somewhere, get some sort of lead. It looks like four man bottom. Corky will go down, but he does end up getting the kill on to Janna. So, you know, not complete loss, but now with the counter engage, depending on how this goes. Oh, the two man ult. Looks like Oriana will go down to Fizz. Now they're trying to get Nautilus, but Nautilus is just so tanky. What can they really do? Meanwhile, Master Yi Top trying to shove the shit out of it, not letting any response happen. And he's just gonna have to give up this tower.
Dives a turret, no fucks given. Master Yi is just putting the smack down onto this Gnar. And Jarvan at the same time because he has taken three... Jarvan has yet to get a red buff this whole game. This is the worst game I've ever seen Bow Chicka Wow Wow on. You know, Reaper is taking just so much harass in that, and then the, the minions were all hitting him. It was disgusting. They will keep that pink ward up. Fizz goes down yet again. Wow, Destiny ends up missing the... Oh, otherwise Corky would have been down and he would have been able to escape pretty easy. You know, he must be feeling pretty bad right now. Alright, I'm going to try restarting the stream. Hold on.